Hello, my name is Retro, and your first time seeing my channel, I usually review anime series, cartoon series, or something completely random. And today will be Vermin. If you've never heard of Vermin, well, it's something completely original from Black Pill. And yes, that's another company you probably never heard of because it's barely started a couple of years ago. In fact, it doesn't have a lot of subscribers with Black Pill because it's free when you have about 1 million people. In a company for entertainment, you need to have over maybe 5 or 8 million to make it big. So yeah, you can see why you probably not heard of them because they're very few people has black pillow that only Now how do you explain vermin? Well, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to nail down because vermin is basically kind of a buck's life. But instead of a happy Disney kind of way, it's kind of disturbing, messed up, kind of like... Family Guy or South Park kind of disturbed. I mean, you know how Family Guy and South Park always cross the line or trying to shock you. And this is basically that. Our two main leads is Marco and Shuma. Each character are completely different. One is basically a rookie cop who barely came from the small town to get in this big city to respect and honor his father, who actually died. Uh, not know what he died at, but he dies or something because it kind of ruins the whole story if I tell you. So he's basically honoring him, becoming a cop, being a good cop like his father. But the only problem is you feel sad for the guy. I mean, everything he does always goes wrong. I mean, he's not a clutch. He's an honest, strong man. But the only issue is. It's it's a very corrupted, sad, unapologetically mean to this guy. I mean, this world is just so bad for him. I mean, you kind of feel sorry for the guy. He's trying to be a good person, trying to be that good cop. But the only problem is, when he starts his job, the whole police officers are not good. They're kind of selfish, outrageously messed up, but basically kind of broken people with a broken city. So yeah, it's kind of hard for him to fit in. Especially with her partner, she, yes, she is a she because honestly, the first time I saw this character i was kind of shocked i thought she was a guy but honestly she says she so yeah it, they don't talk about that sorry they just i think it's just the art design anyway our may, may a senior officer who actually she is also the most unapologetic person and the most messed up and the most doesn't give a two cents about anyone only about herself she's especially carmen from south park but the only difference is not like carmen doesn't have a main focus or the reason why he acts her main reason how she acts is because she kind of fear her original partner. She fails to save her. So this is the way how she acts. Almost kind of empty and broken and just selfish because she really doesn't want to try. In fact, she is the part of the worst cop of the whole force. Till the rookie came in, kind of not sure the way. It's almost like her, his clutchiness and her doesn't give a damn. Sort of saved the day, sort of. It's one of those things that they were there in the right moment and the right time, but only problem is they're not in the right mindset and things just go their way or weird way. Not all the time. They happen to me once and twice and that's it. Most of the time they just messed up and believe it or not, they have to cover it up because they don't want to go to jail. Don't misunderstand. This is not a drama case by case episode. No, no, no. It's more like a day of life a police officer they sometimes had to handle this case or something like that but that just maybe two times and that's it this had 10 episodes only two times you have sort of case the fact what happened at the very end kind of shows the series has potential to be a really drama really action-packed show the only issue is the first season is just setting up the whole season setting up what this world really is and how messed up it is in fact every time you see a person or a new character you think this person is honest well they're actually not honest they're just motivated self reason to do something so you can see how kind of depressing this show really is but it's a very comical approach that is kind of funny of course it's not for everyone believe me if you love South Park and Family Guy you probably don't enjoy this if you're not you really won't get into it that much but because they have this story about these two officers how they hanging out how to kind of communicate with each other they don't like each other you see okay this has super potential but the whole show doesn't really do anything to it. I mean, you have this kind of moments they kind of trust yourself sort of situations, but at the end, they don't do much because it's a small series, and especially when you have seven minute episodes. So yeah, I can see they try to do something, but they don't have the, the 20 minute episode run so they can actually help the right characters even better. 
Especially this show has very unique art style. I mean, the art style is just mind-blowing different because because all the characters are bugs. They kind of sort of look at like how the bugs in real life look like, but just change it a little bit different ways. And it kind of pops out in your face because it's just so interesting to see each character how they look. One thing I have to mention about the art, besides how unique it is, is that it has very low budget. It's almost kind of Harry Barbera kind of level, but done so appropriate in the way that it actually helps the whole series more. Especially all the nasty things they do with this show, oh my god. In fact, the Family Guy and South Park kind of deal, they just do shocking things to shock you. Especially when they do the fifth episode. Oh my god, if you've seen this show, you know what I mean about the fifth episode. What actually was going on. It was about the police commissioner's daughter. Oh my god, all the nasty things they did in that fifth episode. It's something kind of hard to watch. Actually, I stopped watching for a couple of days and come back to that. That fifth episode just so disgusting and unapologetic. It's just, wow, it really got me. But other than that, it's worth watching. Uh, only if you love South Park and Family Guy. Other than that, you don't like their stories or don't like all the shocking things they do. Stay away from this show. But if you like kind of that stuff and really just like messed up things in front of your face and not being censored, Vermin is a show for you because it is shocking. And I have to say one good thing is this show has really great potential to make a great drama show. But when you problem is they have spent it on the first season developing the world. So yeah, it's one of the things I don't know if you can have a season two. But it does, I'd probably check it out because I'm curious what would it do next. Especially what happened at the very end of season one. So yeah, hoping they do season 2 just like that Curie Austin if they can actually do a better story on season 2. Now I have to rate this, well, I have to rate this an honest 5 out of 10 because once more, it's that kind of South Park family kind of, kind of level. So yeah, it's one of those like, yeah, it's something you stay away from if you don't like it. But my my opinion, they do it better because maybe because they have 7 minutes and tried to tell you a story. Other than that, I got nothing else to say. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just.